Hello and welcome to Didioka Splat. We are a static group on Kyber that likes to challenge ourselves a little bit. We die a lot and we talk a lot about a random things. About a lot of random things. Uh, welcome to this week's show. We are still in the Veil of Twilight and hopefully it goes <laughs> slightly better than last week. I only died. I only died one time. You died one time and got ended and piked the rest of the quest. <laughs> Yeah, that sucks. Uh, we should do virtual sacrifice. We go sure. in that direction. Uh, uh that's gonna be a huge negative. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, not even close. Don't you have Leap of Faith yet? 17. I thought he was 17. Yeah, maybe. Boy, we're uh, really quiet today. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll start us off. Actually, I'm a little bit lost. There we go. All right. Yeah, we're doing. It's the one that's way up on the hill of the knolls. I'm following. So, oh, it's you. There you go. So, for everybody that has Netflix, I rewatched a cool movie. At least I thought it was halfway decent this weekend. Uh, Solomon Kane is now on Netflix. If you haven't seen oh, it. yeah, that's a great movie. That was fun. You're a fan of any Robert Howard it. stuff? It's, oh yeah, that's worth it. It was good. It wasn't. It wasn't cheesy. It wasn't anything like that. No, it was. It was. It was never it was got a pretty good. release though. It kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. I actually rented it out of a red box when it came out. Yeah, I had a hundred down. Did you, did you watch on Netflix the um, the David Letterman? Uh, my next guest shows. No, but I heard it no, was pretty good. That? I enjoyed them. No. Yeah. I don't know, seeing him with that big beard is kind of scary. <laughs> I never really watched Late Night, so... It always depended if there was a good guest on, maybe I'd watch it. Well, it's probably somewhat telling at this point in my life that I seem to get most of my news about what's going on in the world from late night. Yeah, that's kind of scary. It makes it more palatable. It makes it more Definitely. That's probably true. I was a big news overage in my life earlier this year. I cut myself off. Last time we did two skulls and we got smoke. Should we do one skull? <laughs> oh, and our cat's not here, so we lost Beavis because I locked him out of the quest. Yeah. So should I bring out the rent? Should I bring out the rent the clerk? Sure. Anybody following the Olympics? Not really. I did watch uh, a little bit off. of the ski, the skiing halfpipe last night, and watched the guy totally biff it. Bad was it? Oh, he landed instead of you know landing on the the pipe, 
he landed on the top. And, like, his Ooh. skis came off, and he ragdolled all the way down. Ooh, that's oh, an wow. agony of defeat moment. It... Yeah. It was kind of one of those medic. Medic? Where's the medic? Yeah. Get that guy a medic. It was it was a little uncomfortable that like that kind of uncomfortably long he's not moving there's no medic there yet kind of a thing Oh, three champions all in one. Incoming. Oh, look at them. Three of them. Right in a row. Do you have Death Ward? The one thing I thought was really cool about the Olympics was the women, I think it's just the, the women's tiers. Are kind of being quote sponsored by Marvel, so they have Captain Marvel and Captain America outfits on. Nice. Their 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 jumpsuits or whatever. I thought that was kind of neat. There we go. <clears throat> Ooh, Ooh. I saw a level get. Yeah, three of them. Who you? Uh, I tried yeah. to. Yeah, I tried to hit him. <laughs> I had the fire up go. there. I have well, ten. Two negative, just you know. <laughs> you have ten negative ten. holes. <laughs> How many? Wow. Just ten. Oh, jeez. This might be one of those instances where it's better off to die. <laughs> Do you have greater restoration? Yeah, absolutely. Say. Get get you some scrolls if you don't. You should should pick that up, huh? Well, greater restoration will get rid of all of them in one shot. You can get it in scrolls. Uh, that yeah, I I have right right Actually, I'm good now. I still have a, a bunch more, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay, no, no I'll keep going. I, I cry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, if Fennecus has regeneration, that'll work a little better. I do not, but I can pick it up for next week. What level? I could probably, gra probably, gra I could probably grab some scrolls, too. I think it's five. I don't remember if it's five or six. My druid is not seen the light of day very much. I am good, thanks. Yep. Took a while to get you there one by one. Yeah, the restoration stuff is pretty good to get in scrolls, just because it's equally effective in scroll or <laughs> spell, <laughs> also. The Reaper up there. Oh, he came after me. You're supposed to go after you guys. This I spent the week watching. A lot of Mystery Science Theater 3000 reruns. Which one, the new one or the older one? Old ones, both Joel yeah, and I like Joel. The new ones weren't bad. No, they're, they're, they're good. good. Watching the Different, season. but... Yeah. Oh, absolutely, watch it. Yeah, so they were fun. Whoa, hello.
Silly Muffet's hiding in the water. Yeah, there's one somewhere. If you have uh, over the air TV, the Comet Science Fiction Station has MS 3000 older ones on Sunday night, I think it is. <clears throat> yeah, they've always been one of my favorite shows. Mm -hmm. Is this the uh, Catches You in the Middle one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, not so. Oh, hello. The champion one, too. Drop down. Yeah, that's what hit. That's what hit me. I think I've ever watched Mystery Science Theater. Oh, really? Uh, it's yeah. pretty funny. Yeah. yeah, they rip on old, old dad movies. It's kind of, yeah, I didn't really care for that. I'd rather watch a good movie than a old bad movie. Well, these are, yeah. Yay, dark. Whoa, hey. hey. The famine reaper. Oh, yeah, there's a reaper. Watch out, the guys are getting us from up top there. <clears throat> yeah, run away from them. Anybody here uh, into anime? Sure, some, a fair bit. Uh, it's Full Metal Alchemist. That movie comes out on Friday. Yeah, for no, sure. it's no, it's out. It's out today. It came out yesterday. Oh, okay. oh okay. it's on Netflix right now. Yep. I had a roommate who was telling me about how great that show was, like seven years ago. Well, they actually ended up doing it twice. So the first time they did it, it wasn't 100 percent true to the original original books or magna magna or whatever it is that came out. But then when they did it the second time around, it was more faithful to the original. I'm neither for nor against anime. Kind of just, if it falls into what I'm watching, I'll watch it. But I don't watch stuff just because it's anime. No. Oh, I'll watch something not good. Just mm -hmm. that it could be good. I like Sword Art Online, surprisingly. I did watch um, the first two seasons of Last Kingdom recently. Yeah, I started. I started the first two episodes of that. That's uh, pretty good. Yeah, it was. It was pretty good. I wouldn't say it was anything stellar, but it was interesting. Mm -hmm. It had a good mix of uh, politics and. Um, you know, action and stuff. Oh. I heard another level get sucked. Who was it? Yeah, it was me. Oh, okay. How many more do you need? Uh, I have two. Good? Yeah, good enough. The other one will go away here in a minute or so. I'll get it. If you were a cleric, you could uh, energy burst them away too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's I good. It's good you're doing a favorite soul though, because in a year you can tell us how good the third favorite soul tree is. 
Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Buddy. But then I'll, I will have moved on. Uh-oh. Favorite yeah, song pull lever. is one of my favorites. Pull it's a leap of faith. I'm trying to remember, did Monk come out first, or was would Favorite Soul come out first? I think the Monk had it first. Yep, Monk had it first. <coughs> One of the problems at this point is that timeline of the game kind of melds in and out of each other somewhat. Right by what you mean. How's that? could mention uh as a point of conversation here uh give evil beaker a shout out for editing my uh raven laugh commercial <laughs> that i did oh well i hope I, I hope uh i hope my ideas help it does <laughs> a second set of eyes helps just in general hey i've spelled strad wrong before too so don't worry about it i still don't know how to spell it my problem like is, is I, never, I, never I, I can't decide the H or the, the D, and never, neither way looks right anymore. Yeah. You get that dyslexic keyboard effect. I'm not really dyslexic. It's just one of those things that like, you, you can't, you don't really learn it right the first time, and forever and ever you can't remember if the way you're typing it is the way it's spelled or the way you learned it wrong. Good friend Peta. This is why maybe R1 was good. Yeah, anything that teleports and can one hit you is no no good, in my book. Just have to keep an eye on dead. Oh, there goes the cleric. Yeah. Oh, that's a poison dot. Oh, Reaper. Why does a poison potion not remove poison dots? Man, if this was last Ow. week, each of these waves would have like five Ow. champions in it. Yeah, we had that one room with three champs so far, and we've had them scattered, but not anything like last week. Hey, monks, you should be less popular. Hey, monks, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody likes the treat he had right now. Mad him. magician. I hit bitters with a cure spell every five seconds again. Nah. Well, that's all. Woohoo!
There was a brief time where uh, you get tea bags in here that were the ones from the subterrain. Yeah, that was a. Uh, oh, I just got one actually. <laughs> yeah. Look, they haven't fixed that yet. I just got a blade of the six from that. So. Oh. I right, go ahead and grab that soul over there. There's a tiny shard there. Yeah, I've been burning through it. You want me to talk to him? I got him. Oh. You want to go back and use the shrine? That would be yeah, nice. Yeah. Sure, I'd like to. You gotta be all psyched up, Patrick. Uh, spring training starting this week. Um, uh, I don't yeah. really pay attention to MLB anymore. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I followed it a lot when I was when I had a paper. <laughs> it's down there. I'm just being lazy and don't want to jump down. <laughs> yeah. That must never fall off. Because I may as well since you're probably buffed down there. No, I don't. I don't really pay attention to MLB for a couple reasons. One is because there's so many games, right? Like it, it can be pretty hard to to really keep up with it. I kind of loosely keep up with mm -hmm. with how teams are doing or what my team's doing or whatever. But okay. the other part is my team hasn't done anything worth note since 2001. So, well, that's it pretty about the Brewers around here. Now they're always hyped about the Brewers, but unfortunately. No, they got some. They got some free agents, and um, they weren't yeah, terrible. We only, I know. I mean, I'm pulling for them. I'm always pulling. We only I never pulled for the Brewers last year by one game. Uh, anyway. yeah. Brewers are an evil, right, yeah. evil team. Yeah, okay. Yeah, All right. Well. So good. Not. I'm not gonna feel bad about ripping on the Seahawks now. <laughs> the the Brewers were the originally the Seattle Pilots. Mm -hmm. uh, moved to Milwaukee after yeah. one season. No, it's hard for me to get excited about the Mariners these days because the last like five or six years that, that we've gone into the the new season, it's been, oh, it added this and this player, and it, things are looking up, and we should make it. We're a uh, trendy pick to make the playoffs, and it never happens. Uh -huh. Crap. Oh, I can grab the ladder. There we go. Yeah, well, my guys down broke a 108 year drought a couple years ago, so. I love seeing emails from work pop up my phone and I don't have to read it and know that something's yeah. going to go nuts. <laughs> Correspondence from work is almost always bad. Eh, most of it's not that big. I actually don't get that many emails either. Like I know people get a lot of people get a ton of emails. I it's a a busy day if I get 10 emails at work. Well, well, see, being in the IT profession, I average 200 to 300 a day. Oh, well, I'm wow. sure. Well, I mean, the, most of the people that I work with, I, you can send an email, but it, it's easier to just pick up the phone and call or go upstairs and talk to them because it's, it's it needs to be more of a back-and-forth conversation. There's, you know, email doesn't really function very well for that. But The other half of the company is, I mean, if you look at, because I work at the theater, We've got employees working between the hours of like 7 a.m. to midnight most days. Sure. Ooh. Hello. So there's a certain group that email is kind of the most, because we're not working at the same time. But we did some work on stage today. Cause we have a show running. and we're, There's remnants we're, back here if you guys missed them. We're, we're setting up a, um, a piece for the next show, kind of as a mock-up. 
And instead of, you know, we moved a couple things, we moved some soft goods to hang it on the correct line set so we don't have to move it later. And stage management just sent an email saying, hey, you said you were moving a border, not a not the BOC. <laughs> no. I'll let my boss deal with that, because <laughs> I did what I was told. Of course, the kicker is the uh, the mock-up lighting effect failed miserably. <laughs> Uh, it just doesn't look good. What they wanted to do was like run these fiber optic strands and light them uh, and have them go across. And they got a, a particular no strand of fiber optics that has like little receptacles to disperse the light every like two or three inches. Problem is that every time you disperse light, you lose light for the next one, right? So before it even makes it even cl anywhere close to halfway across the stage, it's completely dark. Like there's no light left. That was how I ended my day at work. <laughs> really depressing. I'm gonna have crappy healing for a sec. Stupid Plague Reaper. It was an extremely long week at work for me. It's only Tuesday. Yeah, but to clarify, yeah, his Monday, Tuesday are my weekend. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. That's most of a lot of my coworkers. <laughs> like Monday is the one day they know they're gonna have off because we don't do shows on Mondays. Always. Hey, that spell works. Yeah, it's working okay. Yeah, nice hold. Where was that spell last week? I didn't have it last week. And I just began to love it. He even picked up the mention door. So. Man, I forgot how long this book was. They're all kind of long. I think that's why they don't. People don't tend to run them um, in like the heroic. Uh, like Carnage Reaper, Reaper. Reaper. Behind us here. Bad boys. Lay down. I know a lot of people, the only quest out here they'll run leveling up is uh, running with the devils. It can be super fast. No. Also be super painful. It sure can. You don't know pain until you've uh, been zapped by a champion <laughs> Gailey's, uh light thing on, as a vampire. <laughs> or a lich. Oh, oh yeah. Skyborn Earth Elemental. There's certain combinations that just shouldn't be. Yeah, that's strange. I mean, it's not as bad as the Song of Ice Fire Elemental, but... Yeah, there ought to be a rule against both. Did you guys see that, that Noel yeah, just yeah, dropped right off the side? Both did. Yeah, they I both ran that. straight ahead. Yeah. They saw me, and they ran. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should wear a paper bag over your head. <laughs> I'm 
careful with the enemy swing in there. <laughs> Your cleric's down there too. <laughs> Not anymore. <clears throat> oh sweet, here's the second one. We can try it and head back. We do not need to do the rest of this side. So I got a new uh, keyboard for Christmas that lights up and stuff. Because I don't really have a lamp over my uh, my computer anymore, so it really helps. But uh, I got it a little bit early, but basically December, <laughs> and like last week, I got an email from Newegg where I bought it. Like, hey, do you need to buy a new one yet? Like, here, subscribe now, and you can <laughs> get this every every month <laughs> and get a discount. It's a keyboard. <laughs> I don't need one every month. We don't need to go that way. Let's head back to the other side. Coffee all over my keyboard last week, so I have a new keyboard. Yeah, that can happen. Ooh, us IT guys hate that. It's the sugar that kills it. I actually, actually took yeah. Coca-Cola is the worst. I took yeah. my old keyboard into work because <laughs> that keyboard had been sitting on that desk collecting. I mean, I clean it, uh, but I mean, it's been collecting sawdust for. Ten years, probably. Oh yeah, I can only imagine. Some of the keys were kind of sticky. Huh. And the one that I brought in is less, uh, kind of less prone to that problem. So, Mr. IT guy, what's the uh, the worst thing you get on a regular basis to deal with? Uh, people forgetting their password. <laughs> I, I, that's pretty sad, but that's kind of it. At least that doesn't sound like too but, bad of a fix. It's more annoying than anything but else. But I swear, I typed it. I typed it right. I said no. You know. <laughs> the, only, the only way that it doesn't work is if you type it wrong. Anyone got a uh, no resist yeah, for this I'll guy? Him. Yeah. You take a champion fireball to the face and we're going to be <laughs> in trouble. So this might be one of the few guys that's left in the game that you have to escort that can die <laughs> and fail the quest. They've kind of gone away from that. The last one I can think of. Coil in the library is unkillable, though, so I hate that quest less. Yeah, and a lot of the newer escort quests, you get penalized if they're taking damage, but they don't die. We ready? Right, we'll see if he follows me. Just a better mechanic. Better? Hey, get your butt back here. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Now I got. I'm targeting him, so I'll keep an eye. I'll keep my target on him unless one of you guys are in super peril here. He's actually not that squishy these days. I think they beefed him up a little while ago, but champions ain't doing him any favor. That's for sure. Well, yeah, that's the that's the point. Right? Champions aren't doing anybody any favors. <laughs> <laughs> I think they. I like them as a general concept. Oh, I love it. I, I do. Uh, the content they they need to fail. tweak a few things, like the... Um, they've already said that they're going to tweak the, the dots stacking too quickly. Hey, get over here. 
which I certainly am not going to complain about, but at the DM in me is kind of like, no, that's that's completely reasonable because the players can Sharati magic missile stuff. Seems fair, right? Yeah, yeah. Reaper. <laughs> oh, there's a Reaper right oh. on top of him. I'm working on it. <laughs> not right on top of him anymore. He's shooting me now. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Boy, this guy is more of a Zerger than I am today. He is running um, straight ahead. Yeah, he's not listening to me at all. Ooh, somebody did a dispel on him. Oh, not me. Wow, my spell resistance is blocking things. That's different. Oh, spell resistance didn't block that. <laughs> Stinking Cloud. Who uses Stinking Cloud? Cloud kill is fun, but Stinking Cloud, what's, what's it even do? Uh, it can nauseate you, which can make it so you can't really do anything other than walk around. But more importantly, it obscures your vision. The paper and paste, kind of paper. Yeah, the twenty percent miss chance for sure. Well, you know that one of the worst effects in fifth edition D and D is just to be poisoned. Because if it's a certain type of poison, everything you do is at a disadvantage. Actually, I think it's going to be shorter to recall from here. Walk in the front door. Shorter to recall. I think so. Or to go to coalescence. No, I don't think we have time for coalescence. I figured we'd do the shorter one. Do coalescence next week. Meridia? Well, if you recall, it's probably going to send you to the 12. But... No, I think... Maybe. If you oh, don't Harvard. walk out the front door, it sends yeah. you to the 12. All right. Yeah, yeah go ahead and recall. It's, just, it's too long of a run. Ah, it's good. Yeah, we're we're spread what out. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the entrance I, to the veil. I'm just yeah, a little inside the door. In. That's where me and Bitters are. <clears throat> I don't know why it's... We'll have to do the, the, the side run up. Go ahead and smack the haste. Oh, he is down there. Oh, somebody came through here. There's a chest over where we're at. Oh, yeah. 
many lily petals. Oh, very good. How rare. It's kind of funny looking back at some of the ingredients that back in the day were like really rare. <laughs> and now I have so many that I wouldn't even know what to do with them. Yeah, how many missed yeah, bottles are probably people have? People have. Mm -hmm. Are those things even still used in Kenneth Crafting? Nope. Nope. I had to look it up the other day because I got offered one. They are good for nothing now. You should fix that. At least according to the wiki. Seems like there's an opportunity there to maybe make them tradable for certain collectibles or something. That would be nice, yeah. I've often thought that. Like a ultimate collectible vendor where you could trade stuff back mm -hmm. and forth. Yeah. Three to one or something. Help with the collectible collectible needs. I mean, they really just don't want things to be useless in the game. That's the really big part. Yeah. As a general rule, I mean, I can get the I get the uh, the event stuff expiring, and that that's fine. But yeah, just to incentivize not running it one year forever. Ooh, stinky drugs. I'm fundamentally opposed to anything that slows down my movement. Mm -hmm. well, my problem these days is <laughs> playing this guy for Tito Kasplat, and then I go back to other characters, and they all feel slow again. Dangers of playing a monk. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Starting our first level character. Why isn't other oh, shit? Okay. Very slow load. How's the uh, weather down in Florida there, Bitter? Yeah, it's getting a little hot. I think it was like up to 82 or something today. <laughs> 72 here. Oh, I, I, as I mentioned before the show, we had Seattle weather. We had two inches of rain today in the middle of winter. We had some snow flurries. Calling for that we tonight. Snow flurries. People freaking out about snow. Arcot posted a picture of his. Uh, his car thermometer and it was negative twenty. Today. Nice. He was listening to some David Bowie song and I told him that that uh let it snow would be a more thematically appropriate. I don't think I convinced him. We were at a convention once and it was negative twenty five and the, the sheer number of alternators that croaked out at that convention were amazing. <laughs> it was like over it was like over a dozen. Hung under these unholy hand wraps just for this quest. Nice, clever. Is that an oopsie? That was an oopsie.
one to your left. Or behind you. Oh, there's the champion, Gailey. I'm waiting for him to show up. Are we? Oh, nice time. Go figure, last week R2 tore us up, <laughs> this week R1 is a cakewalk. Yeah. <laughs> I really feel like it was such a tough quest because we lost Bitter, though. Well, champion fire elementals. I think the uh, the mob the selection is... Everything. It's okay, it's nice to get more than one quest done in a week. <laughs> Absolutely. Enjoy occasional challenges, but uh, it's like getting stuff, feeling accomplished. Oh yeah, be nice, and this is good XP out here, so. Oh yeah. Ah! Throw you down? I think two of them ran right at me for some reason. They're intelligent. They're going after the cleric. I know. Somebody got blown off. Bye, Paladin. <laughs> <laughs> They'll catch up. I did this quest once, and one of these, uh, the 3D. Or Ginny or whatever, uh, got stuck in that mode and kept following us throughout the whole damn quest. We couldn't hit it, it just kept pulling us around. Whoa. What can you do against those guys when they're like that? Did stay away? I don't think Not anything. anything. Hello. Run behind now. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Champion magic missile. <laughs> Couple of them. Ooh, 63. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Nice. So, a uh, player from Phoenix won the three point challenge this time. So, who's a what now? Oh, there you go. For the All Star uh, game. His name's Devin Booker. 
He's our 21 year old kind of phenom guy. The only thing I know about the All-Star game was that apparently someone sang a really bad long rendition of the National Anthem. Yeah, yeah, yeah I heard about yeah. that and issued an apology. Well, I don't know, I guess call me old-fashioned, but the the All-Star game as a pickup game with choosing sides just doesn't interest me very much. I definitely didn't care for the format. I mean, basketball doesn't really interest me that much, so... Well, I, I absolutely love basketball, but that is terrible stuff. My, uh, I feel my, like uh, the basketball my... game, all-star oh. game, is like a lower, a much lower quality of game than... Ooh, ow. I feel like other sports, when they do their um, their All Star game, at least the the game is generally pretty good. I mean, I get I get that in football, they're not gonna like whack each other as hard, but and they don't defend as much. But it was a close game this year, three points. Whoa! There we go. Somebody finally did it. I was lucky enough then to, when I was younger, my uncle took us to the Bucks games with Kareem and Oscar Robertson. And, and oh, that would have been stuff amazing. Like that. Oscar was, that was probably a lot of fun to watch, yeah? Uh, I was seven, so I don't remember a whole lot, but it, it was, it was, it was fun. Uh, I remember it being a lot of fun for a seven-year-old kid. Oh, I can only imagine. It was probably the greatest time ever. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, yeah. for a seven-year-old. Bad boy. Yep. I remember the All-Star game for... <laughs> the All-Star game in baseball for fun moments like when... Um, how was it? Like Larry, I think it was Larry Walker came up against Randy Johnson and Johnson threw like the first pitch over his head and... Johnson, or whoever, whoever was in the batter's box, was a lefty, got up, took his helmet, turned it backwards, and got in the right-handed batter's box. That's funny. And then he walked. <laughs> well, what about the um, the All-Star game where it went to, like, what, 13, 14 innings, and guys were on the oh, plane on yeah. the way home while the game was still going? They had to stop the game. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. I mean, theoretically, you could have that same problem in in the NBA or or football. It's just less likely. Mm -hmm. The numbers are a little harder to get to work. Other times, point. fairly likely. Well, I feel like basketball. It's not that common. I don't watch a lot of bat basketball though. It definitely happens. Uh, maybe not. That's great of a percentage time. Right? Like, if the NFL had a tied game at the end of the Pro Bowl, I'm, I doubt they would play keep playing. Yeah, probably not. Did, they would did, definitely did we have play any, the Do we, we have any tied games this year in football? I can't think of any. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, there I was know a run of them. I know there was like, <laughs> it may not have been like this year, it may have been last year. There was two no, there the year to be before. One because it messed up some division. There had to be one. I know the Seahawks had a tie the last year. Not this season, but last season they had a tie yeah. with the Cardinals yeah. where each kicker missed like two field goals to win the game in overtime or something stupid like that. Yeah. I think someone someone missed a field goal yeah, to really end to end regulation that would have won the game and then <laughs> both teams missed field goals that would have won the game in overtime. Yeah, I just don't remember if there was any or not. Didn't they change it to it being a 10-minute overtime period? Yeah. Yo! Ooh, uh, that was a one-shot. Yeah, uh, well, I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't him. even gotten close yet. Is that our first death tonight? I like to think of myself as I my think time. so. You guys are okay with that.
I like the fight music in here. Kind of reminds me of uh, Orchard. Wow, sheltering 21 helm. Anybody? Oh. Not bad. With resistance, with resistance plus six. Ooh, that's that's pretty nice. nice. That's level 20 loot. <laughs> level 20, but... Yeah. Uh, that's anybody wants to... I'm good. I'll, I don't I'll need it. See you later. I don't remember ever seeing a sheltering 20 item <laughs> that wasn't level 30. Uh oh, oh, here we go. Smoked him. No problem. He's safe. One thing about monks, if you can get their stun DCs to land, you can lock stuff, lock a single target down pretty good. We had our uh, online fantasy grounds game yeah, on, CT, CT on, on Sunday. Sunday. And the guys went up against two monks, two six level monks. <laughs> it was they close. Were nasty. They, they were, were nasty. They were, oh man. They were terrible. I had, a, I had everybody stunned and on the ground, and uh, the, every, the guys ready to come in for the killing blow when, when they pulled it off. I pulled it out of the dark. Two axes to the back. I did a uh, dungeon once where it was like, a series of rooms that were based on you guys. games. <laughs> like, I had a chess room that you you had to move, like, a chess piece based on where you started or you'd get zapped and stuff like that. But sure. I did, um... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did a uh, mastermind puzzle for one of them. And every time you pulled it, you, you fought whatever... Cause it was, instead of numbers or colors, it was, head, like, monster heads. <laughs> and so I had, um... One of the things I had in that room was monk chokers. Well, remember in D and D original first edition, monks were lawful evil. Yeah, they were, uh, they were a pretty popular class to play. How were they evil? Uh, you know, I forget what the rationale was. You could be lawful neutral too, but it was always an yeah, excuse for people to be evil. Lawful something. Well, you could be lawful yep. good too, but you had to be lawful. Oh, so few people played lawful good though. <laughs> oh. Yeah, lawful stupid. Why bother? Yeah, unless you were a paladin, were a paladin. lawful lawful good was. Eh. I'm trying to remember what the. Ever, um... I mean, I could break paladin every game scheme if I wanted to. So I can't remember what the special ability chokers have, but it's something like if they hit you, they can like make it so you can't speak or something like that. So it turned out to be like a really Joker? good combination with a monk <laughs> monk levels, <laughs> which was funny, really funny, because the this particular group was they didn't meta game too bad, but you know one one player kind of had to control himself a little bit, <laughs> but they all were like, oh, a choker, <laughs> like okay, there's these. These are the options of things we can pull. Oh, chokers! Those would be easy. And then they they almost got killed by them. They yeah, weren't they weren't expecting the levels. Everybody knew everybody knew the rules. <laughs> everybody yeah, knew the monsters. Well. We all had the monster manuals memorized. 
the whole nine yards. Yeah. Well, there was yeah, um. Ron, he could tell you the page number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had a guy that could tell you the page number they were on, the number oh, of hit dice, you know, everything. Yeah. How many yeah. how many paragraphs were in the description? After a while, we never looked anything up. We just looked at Ron. Yeah, we just looked at him for the <laughs> answers, you know. Yeah. Before they got to that that dungeon, there was Al. Oh, um, Al again. Whoa. Back up. Yeah. He doesn't like me. You know. I have a club alone. he can join. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he really likes yeah. you. Yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. No, this group. Um. I'm trying to remember the name of the thing that I, I threw at him, but it was some like really high challenge rating, like frosty looking scorpion thing out of one of the frost this frost book. And they they pulled it out of the I made a uh, random encounter deck and they pulled it. And the cleric beat me on um the cleric was the only one who beat me on initiative, so I'm like chomping at the bed. I'm gonna smoke him, right? Give him a little little something, some whacking. And uh you guys can try it if you want. And so the cleric looks at the guy who who is the one who knows the books and everything. He's like, "How bad should we be scared?" He's like, "Kill it, kill it now." <laughs> so he casts destruction. Rolls ridiculously high on his spell uh, spell penetration check, and then I rolled ridiculously low on my fortitude save, and he killed it. Oh, I was okay, so yeah. disappointed. Well, Kevin, you had that problem during our game. All full of yeah. freaky zombies, and they all just uh, evaporated. Yeah, it's the cleric turned them into, into dust. But then back in first edition when you had psionics, you always had at least a 2% chance to kill anything outright. And, man, we used yeah. to roll that like you wouldn't believe. Killed Orcus that way, even though technically... Yep. Yeah. What, uh, technically we weren't supposed to, but... What edition are you running? First edition. Oh, jeez. Another fun combination to hit players with is um, I had a fighter with improved trip and a spiked chain. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, yeah. Every time he got a trip, <laughs> he got a free attack. That guy. Ah, I lost the rent to cleric. That was kind of bound to happen. I'm making friends pretty quick over here. We seem to be in that really awkward thing. Every time we do two or <laughs> two skulls, we get sm smacked around really yeah, we good. And we do one skull, we, we well. cruise through it. We need to find a good middle ground here. <laughs> We've done three fairly well. Too funny. All right, well. That went well. Thank you. Thanks for watching Dito Kasplat. We'll be back next week. You can watch past shows in our weekly Dito news and discussion podcast at DitoCast.com or our YouTube DitoCast page. You can also watch DitoCast live on our Twitch page, twitch.tv slash DitoCast. Uh, check out Dito.com for the official Dito stream calendar, Dito forums, or to wa download and play Dito yourself. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at DitoCast. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>